Hey everyone, it's uh, Kyle here from KGTV. I just wanted to do a little uh, tutorials uh, to help some of you guys out who are trying to stream using their PS4, an Elgato uh, capture card, and a desktop PC. How I have my routing set up right now is I have it going out the uh, HDMI output on the back of the PS4, and I have that routed into the input of the Elgato HD60S. And then out of the HD60S HDMI output, I have that going into my, uh, my desktop monitor, my screen. And then I have the USB 3.0 um, cable connected from my Elgato into my uh, PC. From there, I have a microphone that you can plug headphones into. Uh, I'm using the Rode NT-USB microphone. And you're also going to need a, um, a camera that's compatible with the PS4 that has a microphone. I have the PlayStation camera that came with my PlayStation VR. And I have that coming out of the back of my PlayStation. So... What I'm able to do is if I go into, I use Streamlabs OBS. So if I go into Streamlabs, there I am, hello. Um, now that I'm in here, I'm able to capture the audio from my PS4 through my capture, uh, video capture device uh, down here. And that's going to send all my uh, PS4 audio and um, my chat audio as well to my stream. And then I have my microphone right here, as you can see it moving, uh, the meter moving on the screen. That is, that's going to my stream, but my PlayStation camera microphone is actually picking up my voice so I can talk to my friends and chat. So it's a little bit of a workaround. I know a lot of people use the Elgato chat link uh, cable, but I've heard a lot of like mixed reviews about that I've heard it's like kind of cheap and it has some buzzing and static and stuff like that so I thought this was like a pretty uh, unique workaround um, in order to get the PS4 chat audio and uh, sound into your stream so if you're using something like OBS or Streamlabs or whatever you're gonna have to go into your mixer settings here and if you look at my settings here Pay attention to uh, the ones that have the monitor off. So this C920, that is my um, camera for my live stream. I'm not actually using the camera on the PS4 uh, camera. I'm just using that to pick up my audio. And then I have the uh, I have the monitor off on the microphone as you can see here this top one I just I accidentally had a duplicate of my microphone speakers so I just I muted that I turned the volume all the way down and I muted the output of that it's it's redundant you can disregard this top layer here but um, so for my microphone I have it uh, to monitor off if you have that toggled on I'll see if I can get it to work hello you'll you'll kind of hear like a weird sound it's almost like a slight delay or like a reverby kind of sound and that's because it's actually playing the sound back through the microphone so you're almost getting like a doubled effect so you can actually turn that setting to monitor off and then it's going to sound a lot clearer so you're just getting the direct signal going straight through you're not getting it re-looped back through your headset. You're also going to want to take your turn your speakers uh, in your Rode NT-USB. You're going to want to have those to monitor off as well so that it's not playing the sounds back again at you. Yeah, we're just going to leave that off. I was trying to show you an example, but just know that you got to turn that off. You want your C920. You want the monitor off. I'm not using that at all. And then your capture device, you want that uh, monitor and output so that's going to give you the game audio coming through and everything like that now the other thing you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to come down to your computer audio and you're actually gonna to have to set that output as well to the Rode NT USB uh, speakers on top of all that 
you're going to have to go into your sound settings on your computer as well. And you can see here I have output speakers Rode NT USB, input microphone of the Rode NT USB. And then you're also going to want to come down here to app volume and device preferences. And here I have my Elgato sound capture with the speakers from my Rode NT-USB and uh, the input of my microphone Rode NT-USB. And I also have that set up here. So if you just want to do like the exact same thing that I have uh, going on, uh, that should work for you and it should help. Now I'll go back to my Streamlabs. There I am. You can see my gameplay in the background. And then if I scroll down here, and I, I actually have it muted right now, but you can see video capture device. If I unmute this, now we're getting the, the game audio from the PS4 into the stream. So it's, it's a unique workaround um, if you already have this stuff. Uh, it might kind of suck if you don't, but it might be worth it if you're really wanting to try to get into streaming. Um, this might be a, a more solid solution for you guys instead of the um, chat link cable. I know with the chat link cable, it's, it's only like 10 bucks. Um, so like really you're not losing out on a whole lot of money. This idea just kind of came to me the other day. I've had this Rode NT-USB for streaming and stuff like that for a while now. And I've been wanting to stream my PS4 gameplay and I was just thinking like, well, wait, my PlayStation camera has a microphone and I wonder if I could just use that. Because I guess what the issue is, is if you plug in your uh, headset into your PS4 controller, it sends the signal to the controller and it cuts off the audio from being sent to your HDMI output. So that's what causes the issue and the Elgato chat link cable will split your signal so it sends it to your headphones as well as sending it to the uh, HDMI output so that you can get your friends chat in game and everything like that along with your audio. I tried this with my friends tonight. I just got done streaming about like six hours. The only thing I had to do was I had to move my PlayStation camera microphone kind of close to me because it was I'm in like a kind of an empty room so the further the mic was away people said it's there was a little bit of like reverb from the my voice bouncing off the walls and stuff like that but all i did is i have it here on my desk and it's just right below my microphone uh right here and everyone said it sounded like it normally does and then my mic's getting picked up here and getting sent to my stream and it sounds it sounds pretty good just to recap I, I know that might have been fast for some of you guys you're gonna take an HDMI out of the back of your PS4 put that into your Elgato HD 60s then from the output of the uh, Elgato HD 60s you're gonna run that HDMI into your desktop monitor. You're gonna take your USB 3.0 cable and you're gonna plug that into your PC. Then you're gonna to wanna to use Streamlabs or OBS or whatever. You're gonna to wanna to set your settings to just like I have it here, uh, monitor off on the microphone, monitor off on the speakers, monitor off on your webcam if you have one and then you're going to want to set your video capture device being your l uh your elgato as monitor and output once you do that come down here go to your you're going to want to change your desktop audio to come out of your rode nt usb speaker which is my microphone here and then like i said you're going to want to go to your sound settings and then change it here, change it here, and then come down to Elgato Game Capture and make sure it's set up there. And if you do all that stuff, it should work for you guys. Um, leave a comment if you have any more questions. 
or need any help with anything. I'll see if I can put links to uh, the stuff that you'll need in the description below the video. Yeah, I hope this works for some of you guys. Uh, you guys might already have some of this stuff and then it kind of solves your, your issue and maybe you didn't even think about it like I kind of did. I just came across this today and uh, it seemed to work out pretty good. So uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing if this helped you. I like doing this kind of stuff if I come across something that I think would help people. And uh, talk to you guys soon.